Hey everybody, and welcome to I don't even know which episode this is of Scooby Doo 900 Frights. I've completely lost count. Uh, episode. I think this might be 12? Anyway, you can't proceed further here. Why not? Well, I'll show you in a moment. And you can get that monster token. You can get it. So, yeah, first thing you're going to want to do here is get all the Scooby Snacks in this Or, first thing you're going to want to do is kill off these guys. That way they don't irritate you later. There are a lot of gargoyles around here, but they shouldn't pose too much of a threat to you. You get each key. Does it have to zoom in and show this every time I get a key? Because that'll get really old really fast. Now, this comes to another part where I was just plain stuck as a child. I had no idea where to go, and I have no idea how I ever made it through this. There's a lot of portions of this game, just like, I have no idea how I ever figured it out. And if I had to, like, play this game again completely blind, I'd have absolutely no idea where to go next. Because this is a hard game for a kid. Well, it, phew, in my current age, I have no idea if I'd be able to figure this out. I'd probably get frustrated with this game and give up. Because it gives you no direction where to go sometimes. And if you have all four keys, you're going to be like, Oh, I can go up there now, right? Well, you try to, and... You slip. You need the professor's plunger invention to make up this ramp. Come back when you have found it. What? Where is it? Oh, you got to find it. And as a kid, I was completely stuck. So... Where are we going? Well, first I'm gonna go get that monster token because might as well get it now while I'm here. And then we're gonna go and backtrack a bit. Ooh, perfect. Got it. Yeah. By the way, that was a monster we don't have yet. Like, haven't met yet. Just thought I'd point that out for you. This is a shortcut back to the start of the hedge maze. Mm-hmm. You may remember this place. There was a uh, gate here, which that doesn't look like a cave back there. I'm gonna point that out right now. It doesn't look like there's a cave back there. Danger, cliffs below. Okay. Recognize this place? Ow, ow! It's where we first found the scarecrows. Die. Ow. So now we're going to go back to the beginning of Hedge Maze and find a warp gate so I can show you where to go next. So, see you guys later. Okay, so now that we're back here, the area we have to go to next, we actually had access to at the beginning of the last episode. You may remember there's a uh, warp gate, or not warp gate, snack gate in here, uh, in you know, the cage under the lighthouse. And I told you, don't go there, there's a free way to get in there. Well, the free way is right here, shock on the dock. You had access to this place immediately, but if you went down there, there's nothing there. Like, you can go through an area, then you come upon a dead end. And now if you go down there, the plunger's down there. The plunger appears, I think, after you beat Scared Stiff on Skull Cliff Part 4. Pretty sure that's how it works. Um, but anyway, you break this. Oh, by the way, now you can break this thing. Or push the button, you can go in there to get back to um, Fear on the Pier Part 2. But anyway, you break this, you fall down here. You die and get reset back to three Scooby Snacks. We land in Creepy Crawlies in the Hallways, Part 1. And... There's a new enemy there I'll point out in a moment. Ooh. Okay, fine, I'll point the new enemy now. New enemy! Yep. And that was his only appearance. Oh. Sorry to... Is that... There are a box of Scooby Snacks in the water there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was. Okay, you get hit by the bat, and you fall into the water, and you can get a box of Scooby Snacks that's mysteriously down there. Anyway, if you go through here, though, it'll bring you back to the lighthouse place, and then in order to get back through here, you'll need the uh, snack gate. I don't know why they give you a free entrance to the place, but I actually didn't discover that till more recently. And if you look at where we are, we're in the mansion. Kind of. There's this whole little basement area we skipped over. Right now we're in kind of like a dungeon area beneath the mansion, which I'll probably be showing you, you know, much later in the game. We actually have to go down here for stuff, but 
Yeah, I was at complete loss, because I went down here when we first had access to it, and there was nothing down here. You also go to here, I think this brings you to uh, part two, although you can't actually do anything from this segment of part two. You have to be higher up. Yeah, you're trapped in here. Anyway. So, I think that ghost that only appears here is called the Ghost of Captain Moody? I died. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the Ghost of Captain Moody, and if I remember the episode correctly, it's Don Knotts. Even though, you know, it's not actually Don Knotts in there, but... He is a suspect, you gotta remember that. In fact, he's kinda like the only suspect we have, actually. <laughs> you know, we ground pound these three switches to open up this gate. And... There's a skeleton here. Somebody died down here. A lot of skeletons, oh wow. What is this place doing beneath the mansion? More- how stupid. More mysteries arise as we get pulverized with- Ooh, boxes of Hoobie Snacks! My attention span's completely sh long. I, you, boxes, box of, the, box. My attention span's very long. I don't know what you're talking about. Ow. Anyway, we go through here. We're also going to be back at part two, although higher up, so we're not going to be trapped in a cage or anything. Ooh, gar, go. That wasn't supposed to happen. Ooh, gargoyle! Boom! If you jump down here... Ooh, I'll do it, I'll... See that cage? Yeah, that's where I was in before. Um, but there's really no reason to go through that door right now. Just get the Scooby Snacks there and then die, I guess, to reset yourself back up here. And don't get killed by the gargoyle like I did. I'm stupid like that sometimes. Ow. You're gonna want to get these keys, which are all floating above cauldrons, and you're if you're playing anything like I do, you're gonna get hit by each one of them and die. Like that. Which means this may take a while. Oh, oh, I might get it this time. I might. Oh, I might get it this time. Ooh, what's that? What's that? Not a- Ow! Okay, there's a scratch on me, but... If you go into here... It's a zombie! Hmm, interesting. Zoink, Scoob! The mastermind locked me in here! Like, I could really use your help getting out, pal! That's wonderful, Shaggy. Well, you kinda need him, because you can't get the key without him, you need the key to unlock that gate there. So first thing you're gonna wanna do... Grant found the switch, and a zombie should come out. Zombie. Boom. And a skeleton on the wall here, because... Zombie's dead, Scooby. Anyway, so you can come in here, and you're like, hmm. Break! And here's Shaggy. Thanks for freeing me, pal. Now help me so... Now help me get the key in the main corridor so we can get out of here. Corridor? Oh, okay. Can you just call it a hallway? I mean, it's creepy crawlies in the hallways. I want the box of Scooby Snacks. Box of Scooby Snacks. And then you can get this. There is an entrance to the Professor's super secret laboratory at the end of this corridor. And I can throw Shaggy by pushing X to continue. Looks like it's too hard to toss me up to. Come back when you find a way to get up there. Hmm. Uh huh. And up there is the entrance to the super secret laboratory, which I don't think anyone even mentioned before. Interesting. This way, to, this way to the secret lab, Scoob. I'm not able to read today. I'm kind of curious now if it's possible to get up there early. Um, I doubt it though. If you could, then you could probably beat the game in like a lot less time. But anyway, now you can go into here and go through here. Which is an area that has traumatized me even more so than the place with the fish monsters. Like, 
I just hear the sound effect of this new enemy's laugh, and I will seriously start, like, shivering. It freaks me out. Uh... No, not the ghost. I'm okay with the ghost. But... Yeah, the ghosts don't bother me. Anyway, up here... If you came in here before, now there's a plunger in here, but earlier there wasn't. Oh, I lied. The, the enemy's on here. What am I talking about? This place is creepy. It looks like... There's like a sarcophagus, and there's like torture equipment, and... What the heck kind of place is this under the mansion? I want those Scooby Snacks. Anyway, yeah, you can see there's a plunger there. The plunger's not there the first time you come in here. It's only there after you've cleared, uh... Scared Stiff at Skull Cliff, and I want those... There's gums here, which you can't get yet. And yes, I'm purposely getting the plunger last. Of course, I'm gonna kill myself in that time, I'm sure, but... Oh, I would, you, you guys are probably all disappointed, like, Ben, you said you were going to be scared, and you were probably going to scream, and I'm thrilled that I don't have to put up with those ghosts right now. Or, if you play this game, then you'll know exactly who the enemy I'm talking about is, and you'll probably be able to figure out why they've absolutely traumatized me for life. I, like, the fish things, when they jump out, it surprises me, but they're not that big a deal. Like, this thing, I absolutely hate and don't even want to go near in the game. Ow, stupid ghost. Ow, stupid ghost. Okay, I think that's... Ow, stupid ghost, I'm gonna get... Yeah, I'm gonna get killed. Anyway, plunger. Great job, Scooby. You just found the professor's plunger invention. Now you have suction cups to walk up steep slopes without slipping. Mm-hmm. Well, what can I do with that? Well, now that we have those... We can get up here, or go up that steep ramp thing we couldn't get up before. Yeah. Oh, you guys are so disappointed, I know. Uh, in the room after this, there's a glitch that Space Cat asked me to try out, which I'm not going to be able to do, because you need this one invention I don't have yet, and I am dead. Yeah. Oh, I need to get better at this game. I'd like to like attempt a uh, another speedrun of it after I beat it. Now that I kind of know what I'm doing in it again. But anyway, I used the uh, plunger the exact same as you use the uh, goulash. It just walk on stuff, and yeah, it automatically appears. Kind of wondering why there are four goulashes instead of only two, because weren't they designed for humans, not dogs? And wasn't it just one plunger, not four little suction cup things? I'm taking this game to seriously. I had a little hiccup there. Anyway, it's... Whoa, 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 whoa! It's possible to glitch out of this area. It's, but I can't do it this early in the game. Ooh, box of Scooby Snacks! I want box of Scooby Snacks! There's only five in a box. Hmm. People get ripped off. I mean, these are ginormous Scooby Snacks. Just look at them. They're like the size of Scooby's head. I don't know how he eats them. Look. They're bigger than his head. Yum, 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 yum. So what I want to do here is break these. Because you may have noticed when I went down there before, I couldn't go anywhere. I would have just jumped and died. Caveman! So, yeah, you want to... Whoa! Whoa! <sighs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Now that I think about it, you could probably actually just fall down there through that third one and land at the exit area. Um... I'm glad you remember that if I if I do actually attempt to speedrun this game again because oh okay man my my face yeah if you can fall down there and land by the exit that'll save you a lot of time or like a minute almost and now you're gonna want to work your way back and not die because if you die you're gonna have to come all the way up here and do that crap again and this place is a place you're gonna die a lot in because these jumps are stupid I hate trying to make these jumps. Because I'm not good at it. I can't judge depth in this. Whoa, whoa, what the? Did I fall through that? What? The scary part is that I lived. Okay, well. I don't know what happened there. This place. You gotta go all the way up there. 
And I know what you're thinking. How the hell are you gonna get up there? Just look at it. Scooby can't fly like that. Why are there boats in here? It's a very good question. Why are there boats in here? It's the middle of a. It's a cave in the middle of nowhere, and if you haven't noticed at the top of the cave, you're gonna be like, "Why are there boats here?" But I'm not gonna tell you what's at the top of the cave yet, because that'll be next episode. Because yeah, as soon as I get through this area, I'm gonna end it off. So, let's go. I'll get those Scooby Snacks I missed on a replay of this area, I guess, because I don't feel like dying. Now you're up here. Use Friend the Professor's Sonic Enhancement for the Super Smash! You can now do a... do the Super Sonic Smash by jumping then pressing the square button. Doing a Super Sonic Smash on the ground will stun nearby monsters momentarily. So basically it's a ground pound, but if you hit near the monsters and miss them, they get stunned like if you had hit them before getting the helmet. Yeah, it's... pretty useless. Sonic BOOM! I wish it would make you be able to like, kill two hit monsters in one hit or something, but it doesn't do that. Anyway, I'm gonna end off this episode here, so... See you guys next time.